Hello and welcome back to Let's Go Hunting. Today we're here on Timbergold Trail, switching it up just a bit since uh, we haven't gotten to do a Let's Go Hunting on this map, and of course there's no suggestions for it. There was no chance I wanted to uh, do that, as if you couldn't have guessed already. As I mentioned in one of the other videos I did on the map, that I really enjoy hunting it. So yeah, we spawned up here in the mountains to try to get some bighorn, because we haven't had any bighorn on video yet spawned right here at this tent this seems to be a pretty popular place for people to have tents i've been in a couple multiplayer games uh, where people have them in this area so what we'll likely do is go ahead and walk down through here and i don't know however long it takes to get a couple of bighorn and then we're going to fast travel to one of the two lodges most likely this one and then we'll just go from there so we're going to go ahead and get going I brought the 9.3, as you saw there, uh, just to switch it up a bit, since we usually use like the 7mm bullpup. I do have the Winter Snake Bite with me, and I've got the 22 Grasshopper for Ptarmigan, which I will switch to the 454 uh, when we fast travel. Hopefully I remember to do that. I'll switch that to the 454 uh, for Bear. But yeah, we'll see if we can find ourselves some Bighorn. Alright, we've got a Bighorn Sheep on top of us here somewhere. I can hear its footsteps. I'm trying to crawl uh, to a point where I'll be able to get a good view down over, which is where I think it is. But bighorn sheep, you seem to be able to hear their footsteps from a bit further than you would think. So it might be out past us a bit more. Oh, there it is right there. Actually, that's in bow range. It was. Oh, there's two. Alright, we'll try to get this one. If it would stop. Ooh, nice ram, nice ram. <laughs> That's a lung shot, so he shouldn't go too far. I right, get on the tracks right away though, because there seems to be some kind of glitch uh, where the tracks want to disappear really quick. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Luckily, uh, we weren't able to get a shot on those other ones, and that big ram stepped out. And hopefully he doesn't uh, run real far. I don't think he will with a solid lung shot, but that's a good way to start the hunt with a pretty good looking ram. It might be my personal best right now, that's around 164. Uh, we'll see if he can top that, but that was pretty exciting getting in bow range of, I think there were at least three there. So yeah, we'll track this guy down. Hopefully we'll be able to find him. I don't think it'll be an issue, but we'll see. Alright, I can hear one right around us here. I don't know if it's running or if it's just like trotting or something. But we should be able to see it now that we have a big opening. I'm assuming it's one of the females that was with that uh, ram that we shot. I don't see any sign of it, but it was definitely over this way. It sounds like it's right here. What I think it's probably doing is being in that like crease right there I don't know if you can see it like in there or something I'm just gonna move this way until I can see it I believe it's down on this oh there it is <laughs> wanted to take it with the rifle although that was probably uh, doable with the bow as well just because I don't want to have to track extra and like I said there seems to be that weird bug where uh, the tracks aren't uh, staying around for very long so I don't want that to happen either so a 37 scoring you and we'll head up here and finish tracking our ram we had just hit body blood so that should mean he's not going a whole lot further so we'll get back on the tracks and track him down all right, so here he is. Can't hardly see his head. It looks like it's in all this grass, but he's got a pretty big curl. 
Looks like he's going to score pretty good. 164, so I don't know if that's my personal best or not. It's got the same uh, score. I don't know if it's a higher decimal. It is lower, less than 0.3, so it might not be my personal best, but still a really nice one. And we got a right long shoulder blade shot. So let's go ahead and take a trophy shot. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no sun here on this part of the hill, but pretty good trophy shot nonetheless. So we've gotten two bighorn already. I think we'll continue and try to get one or two more uh, before fast traveling. Got a track here, actually. Might be from the other U that was with this guy. We'll go ahead and follow it and see where it leads us. Maybe we'll be able to find some other ones just following this. So I guess we'll go for it otherwise. It's just another U to kill, so either way, it's really not a bad idea. Oh, it's actually quite close. Might be able to see if we go up here. So we'll head up on top of this, glass around, and then go from there. There's another track there we can check out as well, so hopefully we can find some more relatively easily. All right, we've got another U up on the hill. She's kind of trotting away. So we're going to try to take our shot before she gets out of sight. I can't believe that dropped her. That was way too far back. <laughs> I don't know if we got, like, spine and intestine or what, but... All right, now we got to run up there and get her. I actually thought that was going to shoot over her as well. I guess it was just luck. Or maybe the fact that she was going uphill... She kind of walked into that or trotted into that. I don't know, but. Yeah, I, I mean, she was about to trot out of sight, and they're hard to get up close to again because it can be so thick and they can be, like, right on you and you don't know it sometimes. So getting her in the clear like that, definitely wanted to get the shot before she walked out of sight. But I do want to see where I hit her. They kind of seem to be like Ibex where... You don't have to make a great shot and they'll still drop. Usually like stomach, intestine, or stomach, liver, something like that is enough to drop them. We'll pick her up here and see where we did hit her. Hip bone intestine. So yeah, as I said, it doesn't have to be a perfect shot. And the 9.3 is a very powerful gun. So that might have something to do with it. I want to get as far as this tripod, I guess. Uh, and then at that point, we'll go ahead and fast travel. So, I guess we'll maybe just follow this track, because it's going in that general direction. And we'll see if maybe we can get ourselves another ram. Alright, it sounds like we've got a bighorn, like, trotting right at us or something. I don't know if this is the one I've been tracking or not. We'll see here when we claim it, but yeah, it looks like it. 5.2 meters. That's pretty close to get to a bighorn. And that was, in fact, the one we were tracking. So that's four bighorn in this hunt. I think we'll go ahead and fast travel. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find another ram, but we did get a pretty good one, so we'll head down to this lodge. Now we'll see if we can find ourselves some elk and mule deer. I do need to switch out my uh, inventory a bit. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll get going. Oh. First off, I th think I see a blonde grizzly bear. Sorry about the frames, but we got one right on top of us, too, that's not blonde. I'm going to back up. I wasn't lagging quite as bad back there. We're just going to sit still and see if we can bow him uh, without spooking that blonde, and then we're going to go check that out. The noises I'm hearing, I don't think it's him charging. I think it's just the ambient noise they make when they're roaming. All right, I guess he's not quite ready to come up over. He's definitely right on top of us, though. There he is. Alright, sorry about the frames again. I don't really know why this place is so laggy. But he did drop. 
kind of look down so the or up maybe I don't know <laughs> trying to get better FPS I walk over to this guy but I don't want to spook the blonde grizzly I haven't seen one of them yet uh, up until just now and then we'll see if we can take him out with either the 9.3 or maybe we can get him with the snake bite I don't know if we can work our way into range on him but we'll probably try it out he was just over there yeah I don't know why this place is so rough on the frames per second but man Looks like we made a pretty good shot. Double long at 30 meters. 16 score, so not very big. Alright, so hopefully over there where the blonde is, it's not going to be so laggy. Hopefully that's the case, and we'll see if we can get in range. Alright, uh, we've just made this blonde bear rather angry. Should have been a solid hit. But it looks like it's going to run away. That was pretty cool. Let's see what kind of blood we got. Intestines, so we probably hit a little low. So this will be interesting tracking a wounded bear, but we'll keep our 454 at the ready. We'll see if we can find it. Alright, so we've been tracking our blonde grizzly, and we've got a cow Rocky Mountain elk right here. She seems to be stuck on this tree, so we'll just try to take her there. The bear's actually been bleeding a lot, so I'm wondering if we didn't get lucky and hit the liver. So the bear actually might die without an additional shot, uh, but we'll find out. Go ahead and pick up our elk. Man, the snake bite just blew through everything. Alright, so we'll get back on the tracks. As I said, he's been bleeding a lot, and it's all been intestine blood, so quite possibly a liver shot or maybe like a stomach intestine or something like that. But yeah, we'll see if we need to actually shoot him again. Hopefully not. We've been tracking him for long enough, and the fact that he's still been bleeding is probably a good sign, so we'll see what happens. Oh, our bear's dead right here. Very nice. Man, look at the fur. <laughs> Trying to get around this tree. Very cool. All right. See what she scores. We did get stomach intestine. 17 score, but it's our first blonde grizzly, so we'll go ahead and take a picture of that. All right, so I think this is as good as it's going to get. There's just nowhere in the sun that I can actually get my camera... Uh, around the face, so we're gonna go with that. So pretty cool, our first blonde grizzly, and we got another cow Rocky Mountain elk calling down here. So we'll try to call her in. <coughs> All right, we've been calling to that cow Rocky Mountain elk, but we actually got a bull coming in uh, from the other direction. The cow's actually right there as well, but of course we're gonna try to get the bull. Kind of stopped behind a tree, but. He's down, and the cow didn't spook. She's still coming in. She definitely heard the shot. She was looking around there for a second. So when she gives us a shot opportunity, we'll go for that. Looks like she's going to come broadside here. And she's down. So that works in our favor that the bull came in from behind us. Fortunately, he got here early enough uh, that we could take the shot before the cow elk was in range to hear it. He's not a monster. 189 score. Seems like uh, Rocky Mountain Elk below like 270 or almost rare at this point. So many big uh, Rocky Mountain Elk on this map. It's just crazy, but not a huge one there. And then we got our cow here as well. With a double lung shot. Alright, so I don't even know where we're at after chasing the bears around and stuff. We are probably just going to head this way. I'd like to get some mule deer at some point now. Because we've had a couple grizzlies, some uh, Rocky Mountain elk. And now we'll see about getting ourselves some mule deer. And of course, any more elk or grizzly we find along the way. 
Uh, we're certainly not just going to pass them up. So let's see if we can find ourselves some mule deer. Alright, so we've got another Rocky Mountain Elk coming in. In fact, he just bugled right there. He's in hearing range, and we're not in a great spot. Really hasn't been long since we shot the last one. And we're still here in the trees. So we'll see if he shows himself, but he's definitely, like, within 40 meters. Actually, we'll give him another bugle. Make sure he comes our way. Trying to get eyes on him. It looks like on the hunter mate map that he's further away than he is. There he is. Looks like he's a pretty decent one. Better get a shot before he notices us though. Alright. Thought I spawned him there for a second the way he laid down, but I think we might have got into the lungs or something. No, we just got two spines. 287 score. Not too bad. So now we'll head down out of these trees and we'll continue our search for mule deer. Alright, so we've got another Rocky Mountain Elk bull coming in. Another pretty decent sized one. He might be close to 300 again. So we'll see about taking our shot. Let him walk a bit until he wants to stop. Starting to drop my bow. All right. Let's see what he scores. Three oh one, not too bad. You can see we uh, have a mule deer doe track here. I was trying to call it in, but apparently it just ignored me. Uh, and that's fine, I'll take a bull elk over a mule deer doe. But I do want to try to get a buck or two, uh, just because that's the last big game species on the map we haven't had in this hunt. Uh, we, of course, didn't kill any white-tailed ptarmigan when we were up there in the bighorn area, but that's fine. For me, I'm always more a big game hunter. I know not everyone uh, feels that way, but I prefer to hunt big game, so... Yeah, I'd like to get some mule deer bucks in this just to end it but I'll take nice big uh, Rocky Mountain elk all day so whatever shows up is fine with me but I'd like to get a mule deer just because we haven't yet I don't know we'll see what shows up all right so we've actually got two mule deer bucks coming in they're both roughly this size there's the other one right there I think this one's a bit bigger so I guess we'll try to get him although the shot opportunity on the one on the left is actually a lot better from uh, the angle point of view Let's see if maybe we can get this guy with a 9.3 I think we missed both of those shots I thought the first one was actually pretty good, but I didn't see any blood. We'll run down and check it out. But we'll see what this guy scores first. 129. So not a monster. We'll run over here and see if we did uh, get blood on him. Like I said, I thought the first shot should have been a hit. Let's actually go ahead and pick up his track. So we know what we're looking for. I guess maybe... We let him too much. If I'd had the 3-9 to nine scope on the gun, that would have helped. Uh, but we had the 12 power on still from hunting Bighorn. And it looks... Oh, we do have a track here. From a different animal entirely. So looks like we did miss, which is fine. He's not all that big. Uh, but it was worth a try. I keep going past tracks that I'm not seeing, but... Yeah, we'll just keep hunting. We're not really in the area I wanted to hunt in. I was probably going to go over towards here more. 
by that tree stand to hunt mule deer, so I wasn't really that concerned with taking a shot with the rifle. So we'll head up this way. We will keep checking a little bit to see if we did hit that buck, but I don't really think that's the case. And if not, we'll just go ahead and keep hunting. So we've got another relatively small mule deer buck here. It actually might be the one uh, that we were shooting at with the 9.3 when we shot the other one. So when he clears this tree, we'll go ahead and take our shot. And down he goes. I did see a nicer mule deer buck, probably around 180, 190, uh, going up that way. He was spooked from, I don't really know what, I may have spooked him on my way down here without realizing it. Uh, and then I think he ran to the river and turned around. So we'll see if we can find him. Hopefully we can. He wasn't too bad looking, so we'll definitely try. Alright, so our nice mule deer buck's coming in. I think if he didn't have a couple of pretty big deductions, he'd be close to 200, but you can see his main beams are not even. He's got a big sticker coming off his right uh, antler. I don't know if you can see that. And his back tines. Uh, there's a pair that aren't even, and that is not good. I have not put arrows in my snake bite. Luckily, you don't have to do it like the pulser. Should still be able to get a shot. Sorry about the frame rate. Not sorry about the kill. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go up and see what he scores. Sorry about my phone buzzing there. I thought I had it on silent. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but... Pretty good buck, but you can see that sticker there. I'll get my binoculars on it in case you can't. There's a sticker coming off his antler here. And the back tines aren't even that we'll look at in the trophy shot, but... Wow. 174, so yeah, a lot of the deductions, otherwise I think he would be pretty good. We'll check out the subtotal as well. But I think that's a pretty good way to end the video, so we'll take a trophy shot of him. Alright, so it's time to run this randomizer program and choose the next random subscriber for the subscriber hunt. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me copy and paste it above so you guys can see it. So congratulations to HeartSlice15. You have won the next subscriber hunt, so I'll be contacting you through the Hunter chat. And we'll try to set up a time to do this subscriber hunt. Also, the new outro screen is going to have annotations that you can click both on PC and on mobile devices. So check it out. All right, so I think we got him in a pretty good spot, but I want to look at the deductions quickly. You can see, like in the middle of my camera circle, this smaller tine here compared to this one. This longer tine here, that's the one it's comparing with. There's probably like a six inch deduction there. This big sticker here is like close to six inches long. And there's another small sticker right there. I don't know if you can see that. So he's probably like a 185 subtotal anyway. But a pretty good buck. I like the rack shape. I like the wider ones. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this video. It was hard to get this guy in the trophy shot position because all this grass makes it hard. You have to get them up higher than uh, you would on other maps. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And also, sorry I didn't do a random selection, but as I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to get back to this map and record another video, and we didn't have any random selections that we could even possibly get at this point, so I will be getting back to doing the random ones uh, next week, most likely. If not, it'll just be the next time we do a Let's Go Hunting video, so if you have a suggestion, please leave that in the comments, and it might just be chosen for the next Let's Go Hunting video. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. See you in the next one.